This video is going to show you how to issue an item out of a Cubex cabinet. I'm going to show you how to issue out a controlled substance as well as a non-controlled medication. There are two common ways to issue items out of Cubex. The first one is called profile mode and the other one is called quick to issue and I'll review both. First thing you'll want to do is log into Cubex. You can either use your login credentials or you can use your fingerprint. Once you've logged in, this is the patient screen and all your patients that are currently active in the system are on this list. So in order to find your patient, you can either use this search box up at the top or you can use the scroll bar over here on the right hand side of the list. If you use the search bar and you start to type in the name of your patient, you'll notice that all of the patients that don't meet the criteria that you're typing in do disappear, making finding your patient a little bit easier and a little bit faster. So you'll want to highlight your patient, hit next. You'll also need to choose the doctor that's going to be tied to the transaction. In this case, it's Dr. Reed. Hit issue return. What you're looking at now is what we call the profile screen. This is a list of all the medications and items that have been entered into the practice management software and then sent over to Cubex to be issued out to this specific patient. I can also add additional items if necessary by hitting this add items button. When I click that button, it brings up a list of all of the items that are currently assigned in this cabinet. I can use the search bar up here to find an item. I can click on it and add it to my list. At this point, I am only going to issue out the items on the profile. So I'm going to hit the back button. So now I do want to issue out both of these items. So I'm going to put a check mark in both of them. And then I'm going to hit issue item. And it's going to take me through the issuing of each item one at a time. This first one is the non-controlled medication. You can see that it tells me how much I have left in Cubex. tells me how much my issue is. I only need a single tablet. And then it also gives me the dose mass or the milligram strength as well. I remove my tablet, I put the bottle back in the cubie, I close the cubie lid, and then I close my drawer, and I hit next. My next item is a controlled substance, and I do have witness turned on for all my controlled substance transactions. So I will enter that here, hit next. And you can see that this screen is a little bit different than your non-controlled medication issue screen. In this case, we have each individual container is a line item. Usually, and most commonly, the open bottle will be the top line, and then you'll have your unopened bottles listed underneath. This quantity to be issued shows me how much I entered in to be issued to this patient. And so now I'm going to enter in a one here because I am going to remove one from the open bottle. So now that I've done that, I close my QB, I close my drawer, and I hit next. And this is my confirmation screen, letting me know that I have issued out everything on the profile. So now at this point, I can hit home. And now I'll show you what this exact same issue looks like in quick to issue mode. Now that I'm back at the home screen, I'm going to perform the exact same issue transaction using the same drugs to the same patient, only it's going to be in the quick to issue mode. So the first thing I need to do is select max my patient. I need to hit next. I'm going to choose my doctor and hit issue return. This time, this screen looks a little bit different. This is the quick to issue screen. So essentially, everything that's assigned to the cabinet is listed here. I'm going to use my search box to find the items that I had originally issued out on the last transaction. So I'm going to choose my 100 milligram carprofen, and it was one tablet. I also had buprenorphine, and that was one mil. Right now I'm going to hit show selected and it's going to bring up everything that I chose to be issued out. And as you can see, it's the same items that was on the profile when we were in profile mode. So now I'm ready to issue these items. I hit issue items. And now again, Cubex is going to take me through issuing each one of the items, telling me how much I have left, the issue dose and the dose mass. So once I've removed my tablet, I'm going to go in and I'm going to close my QB and close my drawer and hit next. Now I'm going to be issuing out my controlled substance. So once again, I have to put in witness credentials. Now I'm back at my container screen for the buprenorphine. Everything looks the exact same as the previous transaction. It tells me how much I told Cubex I needed to issue. And I'm going to issue that one mil from the open bottle. So I put a one in the quantity column. I also can update the expiration dates if I need to, but 
I don't need to at this time. So I'm going to put the bottle back, close my QB, close my drawer, and hit next. Now that brings me to my confirmation screen, letting me know that everything has been issued except anything that I might have skipped. At this point, I can hit exit and go on my way, or I can go home and perform additional transactions.